This video was brought to you by stntrading.eu. They enhance your trading experience by offering extremely fast automated trading services for both TF2 and CSGO. Check them out in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So a lot of you guys absolutely loved the Robo Cosmetics that looked better than the original Cosmetics video. So I thought I'd make a different one or another one should I say with some suggestions from you guys and a few more hats that I think look better myself. And you guys gave some awesome comments in that video and actually pointed out a lot of hats that I actually missed. So hopefully I've included the rest of them in this video. And if not, then I'll try and make a part three. Like I don't think there's many more videos I can actually make on this just because there aren't that many robo hats. And a lot of the time or most of the time, these robo hats don't actually look better, so I can't include them because they're not better, whatever. Anyway, let's get into it. So, one of the hats that you guys pointed out that I missed was actually the filamental. Now, I absolutely love this hat. Like, it is actually really, really cool. I really like it, and it was one of the most popular ones in the Robo Boogaloo update, which was actually... Like, when I, I am, I think I unboxed one of these ages ago when the update first came out, and it sold for much more than a key, and it was really awesome. And I love the fact that when you paint this thing, the light inside the head changes colour as well. I just find that really awesome. The next hat that a lot of you guys said, and I kind of agreed with afterwards, was actually the galvanised gibbous. So, a lot of people know that just the general gibbous is known as like the king of the free to plays hat. And while a lot of pay to plays might use it or good free to plays might use it, it's still known as that. But the galvanized gibbous is something a little bit different, something a little bit fresh. Not really though, but we'll use that. And it's just nice to have a change with the hat and to have a hat that's slightly nicer than, you know, just the regular noob hat. Another one that I saw a lot in the comments, and I can't believe I missed this off the first list, was actually the Bunsen Brave. Now, I love the fact that the Bunsen Brave is actually fire instead of, like, feathers, I think they are, on the Big Chief. And, you know, the fire just looks much cooler. I really like the whole design of the um, robotic version of the hat, mainly because it's just, like, it's taking the original hat like shape or whatever but it's making it completely different and while there are still it's obviously it's still the same design it's just like it's weird how different the hat looks while it's still the same i don't know if that made sense i'm also putting this one in the video just because i saw bernie comment it and that is the titanium towering pillar of hat and i know that like this is icon hat and he absolutely loves the thing so I honestly agree with him, like, it does look really, really cool, and, you know, the added bolts and stuff like that, and, like, the little bits of metal coming off the hat, make it look much different to the towering hats, which is all just, like, straight edges, and, you know, a little bit boring to look at, so, yeah, I prefer the tower, the titanium tower, because, you know, it's something different to look at, and it's nice. So I was actually struggling quite a lot to find a fifth hat, but reading through the comments of the video again, I found a lot of people or a few people suggested this one, the Respectless Robo Glove. And honestly, I do have to agree with these people, mainly because the Robo Glove, like the Robo Hand, is much bigger than the rubber glove is on the regular hat. So, you know, you can see a lot more of it, it's much more visible for the people who are against you. And yeah, it's just like, there's also a little bit of added detail onto the bottom of the hat, which you just saw then. And, I don't know, it's just more interesting to look at and something different and something a little bit cooler instead of just, you know, a rubber glove on your head. So, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I actually really enjoyed making this video. Mainly because a lot of the stuff was actually submitted by you guys or suggested by you guys, should I say. And the fact that I'm looking through all of these old Robo hats from the Robotic Boogaloo update is just stupidly nostalgic for me. Mainly because the Robotic Boogaloo was actually in 2013. And that was ages ago like that's four years pretty much like i think it came out in about june may it comes out it came out in may and you know it's it's ridiculous like oh my god the nostalgia is real and i made a video about nostalgia before so i'm not going to go into it too much but yeah anyway thank you guys for watching this video obviously you are allowed to have a different opinion so if you do have a different opinion i want to discuss what you think is the best robot hat, then please leave it in the comments below and I'd love to respond to a few, see what you guys think 
And yeah, anyway, once again, thanks for watching. I know I say that a lot, but yeah, I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Goodbye.